Good morning, guys. It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. I'm on my way to do the marathon. Uh, but I wanted to talk about a subject really quick that seems to be a hot topic or a slim topic or whatever, <laughs> um, for lack of better words and terms. Do I need a tummy tuck, okay? Am I a surgeon? Obviously not. Am I a world-renowned plastic surgeon advice person? No, I didn't even say that right. So that tells you right there that I'm not. When you're gonna embark on any type of surgery, there are complications and you need to definitely talk to a qualified professional for that, okay? But I'm gonna tell you right now from a very basic point of understanding that people ask about tummy tucks, do I need to get skin removal, do I need to do this? Okay, so because I'm a personal trainer, okay, I see a lot of different body styles and I see people, including myself, that have extra skin on their stomach or whatever. And first of all, first of all, there's nothing wrong with extra skin. It's, it's yours, who cares? Like, if it's a personal choice to be able to do surgery or not do surgery, that's completely up to you, okay? I'm not a big proponent in weight loss surgery as far as uh, the lap band and stuff like that. It's just not my thing, okay? If you are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds overweight, then you need to talk to somebody that is qualified in that department. I don't know. You know, if you're 800 pounds, talk to somebody that can help you. I'm not, that's not my specialty. And I would venture to say probably you need to go a little bit high, a lot higher than what I can offer you. Um, there are people and significant things that will help you with that. And that's not the skin removal I'm talking about. That's much more dramatic. I'm talking about you had some kids, your stomach stretched out, you got some stretch marks, or maybe you gained some weight, you lost the weight, you had the baby, whatever, and you got a little, you got a little flap. You got a little flap when you, like nothing major, okay? But you lost some fat, and now you got a little flap, and you're, it, it, it bothers you, okay? Chances are, if you have a flap, okay, and your stomach's not protruding out, but it's flat, and it just hangs right down, chances are you're not gonna be able to fix that with exercise. And you can keep telling yourself that you can, you can get it tightened up. Um, my suggestion would be to get as close as you possibly can, get as far as you can, get it to where it is actually just skin that hangs there, rather than um, skin with fat inside it. Once it's skin and you can feel your abdominals below it and you've really got your body fat percentage really low, then at that point, maybe go talk, if you're if that's your thing, uh, maybe go talk to a qualified surgeon or something like that and see what they think. Obviously, remember, uh, like I said before, there's complications to everything that you do and it's, it's skin removal surgery, so it's kind of a big deal. Now, my own personal outlook on it is once I get my body fat percentage down low enough to where I feel I'm good, I will probably do the skin removal on my love handles and on my front of my stomach. And the reason I say that is because I actually have significant amount of stretch marks on those areas and then when I lose drop weight, that tends to sag and that's where I end up with the most extra skin. Yours may be less than that, it may be more than that, and that's perfectly fine. That is not considered like weight loss surgery. You're not doing that. You're doing that as more like a cosmetic thing to feel better about yourself. And remember, if, if you don't have a healthy outlook on yourself now, skin removal is not going to help you, and you have to make sure that you're not doing it because you're gonna love yourself. Like, you really need to focus on finding out how to love yourself. Now, it's not a bad thing to improve or enhance your image to make yourself feel a little bit better, 
But if you are weighing all 100% or 1000% of your pure happiness on this skin removal surgery, not only should you probably talk to a counselor, but you should definitely work on some self-love, self-help, and you know, get a better outlook on who you are as a person, and the things that you do love about yourself, because this is not going to change any of that, okay? Will it help your confidence and stuff like that? Yes, of course, it will. But it's not gonna change who you are, and you have to be a great person already, or else it's just gonna intensify those feelings. And then if something else were to happen, God forbid, you know, whatever happened and you became any kind of issues or whatever, it would be too much for you to handle. So please make sure you work on yourself. Don't try to change these things just because you're trying to um, make yourself a better person because the person is inside you, you guys. I hope this information helped you. Please don't be hard on yourself. If you got a little extra skin, who cares? We all got a little something extra. I got a little extra attitude. What the hell? All right, be stronger than excuses. If you're new here, check us out on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for Healthy Life. Remember to spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. Stay on track. Hashtag Team Boo. Have a beautiful day. Bye.